Alexander Esparza with Battery Services International. We are here to provide you with some information, provide you the good news regarding a technology that we have created to recondition or bring back to life dead or discarded batteries. Now batteries, millions of batteries each year are thrown away or discarded due to a condition we call sulfation. Our technology was created to combat this sulfation and to bring back the useful capacity of a battery and return it back into service. Now what we are going to demonstrate is a technology that is going to benefit the environment and provide you a technology also that is going to reduce the overall cost or on um, purchases from the end user. Now what we're going to do is we're going to provide you a demonstration on discarded or dead batteries. So what we have here is a battery that is completely dead. As you see, it's a five year old battery. The battery itself is dead and we're going to show you this or demonstrate this to you by placing a load tester on it that has a voltmeter. Now if you see the voltage is 3.2 volts and this is a 12 volt battery. So this battery has no voltage, zero state of charge and is completely dead. I'll push the load test button, I'll pull load from it. As you can see all the cells are dead because it falls to zero volts under load. Okay. So while I'm doing this I am going to do a visual inspection of all the cells. Everything appears to be normal. This passes our visual inspection. Now we're going to do a specific gravity test, which is an acid density test. It's going to measure the concentration of acid in the battery water. As you can see, it's completely water. This means that all the acid is sulfated on the plates. And by sulfate, we mean that the acid has crystallized on the battery plates. You can see it, all of them are water. So this battery indicates a high level of sulfation. Now we're going to take it to the region or the diagnostic station. We're going to turn on our X charger. The X charger was created, it's the electrochemical, the electrical equipment that we use to desulfate batteries. Okay. This machine is a very powerful machine. Within a period of five minutes or less, it can break the resistance in the sulfation and get the battery to accept charge again. Without this piece of equipment, the battery cannot be reconditioned. Okay. All our processes were used or in, created to be used in conjunction or together to completely restore a battery to 100% cap capacity. So what we're going to use here is a function which we call the diagnostic function. Okay. On our older machines we used to call this the region function and basically we're going to select the analyzer function 12 volt because this is a 12 volt battery we're going to connect our battery to our charger and then we're going to press enter. Now the machine is creating a very complex set of programming that it's going to break the resistance of the battery. It's going to get it to accept charge in a safe manner. Once the intensity reaches a level of about 100%, we know the battery has been broken down and now it gives us the result. The machine is very advanced and gives you a level of open circuit voltage. The state of charge is 0% and it gives you the condition of the battery. So it's basically telling you the battery is dead. Okay, But we saw the machine, 
the intensity went up to 100%, which means that the, the battery is good for reconditioning. So now we're going to move on to our next step. We're going to select the charge function. Select charge on the machine. Press enter. We're going to select a cranking battery because it's an automotive cranking battery. And the reconditioning cycle on automotive batteries takes 20 hours. So I'm going to press enter. So now the machine takes over. You want to see the intensity reach a level of about 100% or more. So the, the battery has now been broken down. Now we're going to add what we call the Power Plus solution or additive. This additive was created to assist in reconditioning the battery. The additive itself, what it does is it starts dissolving the lead sulfates while the electrical equipment inputs charge and helps in desulfating the battery also. So it must be used together. It's part of a three-part system which we call the Genesis Power Recovery Process. Okay. So I'm going to grab a hydrometer and I'm going to add half an ounce to each cell. The additive is inactive until it's added into a battery. So it's completely safe to the environment and to the user. It's non-flammable, non-hazardous, non-toxic. So we are protecting the environment while using this chemically safe additive. Okay. So after we add the additive, we connect batteries in series. And by series I mean in this configuration over here. We have an example of 16 batteries that have passed our screening process and have now been placed on the reconditioning charge. This process is going to take approximately 20 hours and during those 20 hours the machine and the additive work together to basically recondition and rejuvenate the battery from dead to life again. And we're not only restoring it to 50 or 60 percent capacity, all our batteries are restored to 100 percent capacities. Now the SG or the specific gravity are restored to OEM levels also and the voltage of the battery is recovered completely also. So now, after that process is completed, we now go to the final phases of our process, of the Genesis battery recovery process, which is here. This bank has already been completed. So what we are going to do now is we are going to conduct a quality control test here. We're going 20 hours. Yes. These batteries, like I mentioned before, have already gone through the reconditioning charge and have completed the 20 hour cycle. So I'm going to grab my specific gravity meter and as you remember the condition of these batteries before was the same as this one. They were all measuring water low on the specific gravity scale. So none of them were considered good in any way, shape or form. So. Now what we're going to do is just pick batteries at random and start checking the specific gravities. You can see this one's a 1265 and our benchmark is 1265 and above. So this one has already recovered. You can see it's 1265. So that battery is showing good signs of recovery. 1265. Just picking cells at random. Going on to another battery.
as you can see the results are pretty uniform and the same after this process is completed and all cells are checked if any battery has not passed the process or met our quality control it gets rejected okay and it gets recycled because we follow a green a green theme basically everything we do is to the benefit of the environment after a battery is checked, then what we do is we basically remove the battery cables. And I'm just going to demonstrate this on one battery or on a couple of batteries so we can conduct our testing phase. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my analyzer. Which is a digital meter that analyzes the condition, the internal condition of a battery's um, conductivity, resistance, and also measures the plate available inside the battery. A very sophisticated piece of equipment and it also gives us the cold cranking capability or the power of the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our positive to our positive, negative to our negative, press on, press select, so as we see here, this okay. As I mentioned, we are doing a quality control here. As you can see, that the tester is telling me that this battery is in a low condition, which means that the voltage of the battery is low. Now I'm going to run the cycle to determine what is wrong with the battery. Okay. So you can see we have 10.61 volts and a high level of resistance. Anything above 5.8 is considered a level of high resistance. So this basically has not passed our quality control test. Okay. The system cannot recover 100% of the batteries, but on average out of 16 batteries, we can recover at the very least 13 of them. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. See how, notice how now we're not showing a low symbol, which means the, bat, the tester recognizes that there's good voltage on the battery. It's conducting the test. Now it's showing 100% state of charge, 12.95 volts and 4.24 mega ohms of resistance, which is a very good resistance level. It's showing us that we have 695.6 cold cranking amps and the battery originally if you look at the label was rated at 600 cold cranking amps. So we've increased the cranking capability of this battery by 95.6 cranking amps. So we've, even, we've made the battery more powerful than it was when it was originally charged. Now the reason for this is the additive and the electrical process itself clean the plates a hundred percent. After the first forming charge when the battery is first constructed it already starts generating sulfation and resistance in, inside. It's part of the natural battery phenomenon. We combat that and eliminate that phenomenon and which in turn gives you a battery that is 100% free and clear of any resistances or anything that might inhibit the full potential or capacity of the battery. Okay. So if it passes our quality control test, we remove the battery and bring it to our station for branding. Okay. You can see here we have batteries that are ready to be branded, that have come off the charge and are ready for the branding process. So our associate here is going to grab one of these batteries and he's going to go through the branding process with us. The first step is label removal. Okay. We cannot sell the batteries under the original equipment manufacturer's brands. So we must remove all labeling identifying that manufacturer. Okay. 
do not concern yourself with the labels or the branding because we provide our own branding to the battery in the final stage. Now this step doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Once we start washing the battery, all the imperfections will blend in. And once we paint the battery also will hide most of the imperfections the battery has on its casing. battery terminals from this battery. Okay. While our associate gets ready with the safety equipment, we are going to basically um, prepare the area. Okay. I'll just try to show so it basically is rinsing the battery and this is basically a degreaser solution with water. That's all it is or you could use soap and water. This process is used to remove the grease and the grime that has accumulated on the battery and any traces of any um, electrolyte or battery water on the on the outside of the case because in order to properly paint the battery it must be free and clear of any contaminants for the paint to stick properly we must make sure that we get the terminals good that there's good conductivity and all the lead the lead must be free and clear of any contaminants also This step is important as it is your branding step. It's the first step to providing you with the final product. Okay. Our associate has cleaned the battery properly. Now he's rinsing all the residue off. Once that is completed, is going to remove the battery from the washing station and take it to the final branding station. We recommend the use of synthetic cloths or towels. Anything cotton the battery water will dissolve it within a period of 24 hours. It will fall apart. So remember to always use synthetic fibers, polyester preferred or microfiber preferred. Anything with a mixture of 65% polyester to 35% cotton is approved. So what he's doing now is wiping dry the battery. While he's wiping dry the battery, I'm going to demonstrate a tool that we use to clean the battery terminals. This is for the screw type terminal batteries. Basically a drill attachment that has wire brush at the end. It goes attached to your drill and it basically goes inside the terminal 
and cleans the inner and outer terminal post of the battery. So now that he has dried the battery, he is going to conduct the cleaning of the battery terminal. difference between this LED terminal and that LED terminal. You see the dull look? That looks nice and shiny and bright. Okay. Just going to make sure any remaining water is gone so that the paint can stick properly. Now he's going to cover the battery terminals. Now that the battery terminals are covered, the battery is prepared or ready for painting. Now he's going to use quick and even, even strokes and we want to properly remember to use an economical fast dry paint. Do not concern yourself with you buying very expensive paint. What we're here to do is provide an economical and and good way of painting and branding the batteries at a low cost. So he gives it one coat, then he goes on to the next side. We want the first coat to go on light so that it doesn't drip or run. And I try to cover the whole complete battery in, in one coating because then the paint will drip and it'll create a product that does not look visually appealing to the customer. Okay, now that the first coat is on, you'll do the top coat. Now he's going to do the final coat. At this point now you want to con complete an even look, an even coverage of all the battery surface. Make sure any imperfections are covered up and that the whole battery is covered in, in a nice and even layer of film or paint. going to cover the handle. Once the handle is covered, he's going to remove the battery terminal covers. Oh, and we're going to we're going to be placing our own brand of label on the battery. So, the first step in getting your label is to punch out the year and the month. We are in August 2014. So I'm going to punch out the August. And then you punch out the months, the warranty that you wish to give on the battery. That we leave up to the owner or the operator of the battery shop. Once that is done, we basically are going to Place the battery label on the battery. So he is going to remove the sticker from the backing. He is going to center it on the battery. And make sure he presses down on the label so that it properly sticks to the battery to prevent people from removing it. And now you have your finished product. You can see. 
looks just like a new battery. Even better. Why? Good product, low price, great quality. Thank you very much, and we wish you the best. That's Wonderful. It. Thank you very much. Yes, it's a bit. <laughs> <laughs>